Let's go racing off at turn number four. We are free. Spencer Beeston out to the early lead, down the back straightaway. Brad Sweet quickly up to second, getting by the number eight of Corey Eliason. Sweet looking for win number one in 2024 with Kubota Highlander Racing. Off a of turn number four, Spencer Beeston wheels up on down the front straightaway. Here comes Brad Sweet, tries to look to the inside, turns one and two. Beeston has momentum, puts three car lengths between himself and the Nop Auto Parts number 49 car. Corey Eliason coming back to call, tries to work to the outside of Brad Sweet, gets a big run down the front straightaway, side by side for P2 down the front stretch. And the number eight of Corey Eliason takes second right back in turn number two. Eliason now back to second, found some speed on the top of the racetrack in turn number four, slides himself, gets to the cushion on the exit, and tries to track down the number five of Spencer Baston. Brad Sweet back to the inside of Eliason, here comes another slide job, he's got the second spot down the back straightaway. Baston trying to run away and hide from Brad Sweet, who's now under fire once again from Corey Eliason. Works the bottom real nice right there. Gets a little bit sideways on the exit of turn number two and gives up some real estate. Eliason back to the outside of Brad Sweet. We got a caution. We got one around in turn two. It is the 55 of Chris Windham. We'll take a look at a flow racing replay from the drone and we'll see what happened here to Chris Windham. And wow, he spun out and nearly clocked the 13 of Justin Peck right there. Now we're coming back to green. Based in with 25 laps to go, hammers the gas and picks up the front wheels off of turn number four. Brad Sweet trying to make quick work of the CJB Motorsports number five. He takes the lead down the back straightaway. Brad Sweet to the top spot in turn number two. Sweet now to the inside and turns three and four. Based in gets a run on him down the front straightaway. Looks to the inside, but gets a little bit too sideways and scrubs off some speed. Brad Sweet right to the middle of the racetrack in one and two. Now Rico Abreu up to the third spot. Remember, Abreu, he is the Durst Dice Roll driver. Tyler Courtney, 12th to third. Now Corey Day, he didn't like that very much. Throws a big slider at Tyler Courtney right to the cooker in turn number four. Wow, close call there for Corey Day. Now look at underneath the number five of Spencer Baston for second. Corey Day, wowzers, is he exciting to watch with the Kubota High Limit Racing Sprint Cars. Brad Sweet out to a big lead, this time by. That lead has grown to over half of a second over the number five of Spencer Baston. Tyler Courtney tries a slider, comes up short on Corey Day. He's going to stick in that fourth position for now. Here comes Corey Day, back to the inside of Spencer Baston. Not going to clear at that time. Baston drives around him for P2. Corey Day sizes him up once again, looks to the bottom of the racetrack and turns one and two. Can't find a way by, but gets good drive off the bottom. Corey Day to second down the back straightaway. Corey Day slides up the racetrack, parks it on the front porch of Spencer Baston. Baston crosses him up, maintains second down the front straightaway. Tyler Courtney now coming to call as well. The 7 BC's now to third. Tyler Courtney now to third around the outside of the 14. Corey Day with another Hail Mary slider and it turns three and four. Can't make the pass. Sunshine 12th to third. 11 laps to go for Brad Sweet as he works into the traffic to the outside of Ryder LaPlante puts him one lap down. Sunshine, here's the slider for second to turn number one. Tyler Courtney from 12th to second in the 7 BC. The Kubota High Limit Racing Point Leader from 12th to second and now trying to track down his closest championship rival, Brad Sweet. A dogfight going off in this fourth position as Corey Day and Rico Avery are going at it as they work to try and get by the slower car of Ryder LaPlante. Corey Day tries a short slider. They nearly bang wheels in turn three. Basin is there as well, running that third spot. Corey Day trying to drive it in deep into turn number one. Will side by Rico. Rico spins around, tags the wall, and somehow it straightened him back out. He keeps on going. Kyle Clark up the road, running right in the groove of Brad Sweet. It might come down to a last lap pass if Sweet gets held up. Here's the white flag for the Big Cat. One more time around, car off the racetrack and around to turn one. The caution, I believe, is going to have to come out, and it does. The yellow is out for Brenham Crouch, who spun off the track in turn one. Here we go, back to the green flag as Brad Sweet gets a great restart there. Tyler Courtney tried to run the rubber on the restart. It did not work. He's going to be under fire from Spencer Baston. Baston nearly gets into the side of your points leader. Brent Marks makes a pass on Corey Day for the fourth spot. Car into the wall in the back straightaway. Nick Fadden and Thorson got together as they come to the white flag. Brad Sweet, one lap to go. McFadden and Thorson not too happy with each other there on that lap. But Brad Sweet down the back straightaway. 
It has taken eight races, but Brad Sweet, the big cat, will finally get a win. With Kubota High Limit Racing in 2024, he wins the High Limit Hustle. Tyler Courtney, Spencer Basin, Brent Marks, and Corey Day in the top five.